Hello and welcome again, everybody. So we're live again. We got Shota Pop in the stream lounge on Discord tonight. Mr. Shota, what's up? Oh, I have you like turned way down. I didn't want to hear you anyways. One second. <laughs> okay. So anybody else can come and hang out in Discord too. Like I said, we're all the way down in the stream lounge. We'll be having a little giveaway tonight. If you couldn't tell by the little thing up in like this corner here, uh, we... Yeah, dude, everybody wants one of these little dragons. So I've been getting asked about it like all day already. Like, how can I get just one of those dragons? Up, but I don't want to buy $150 worth of bits power stuff. Because, <laughs> yeah, that is, it is kind of a lot. So you guys can get the dragon if you spend $150 in the store on bits power stuff. You just got to put in the comment section, uh, like bits power dragon or whatever. Just comment something about it and they'll get it for you. Otherwise, if you're paying attention tonight, you can win one here. Yeah, dragons, and it says. So, um, we will be doing that sometime during the stream here. I'll do it just like last time um, on Monday, where I'll just ask you guys just a random trivia question sometime during the stream, and the first person to answer it, whatever chat you're in, whatever platform you're watching it on, uh, who's ever first will... Uh, what's up, Nick? Drive safe, dude. Don't crash or something. <laughs> the dragon's not that important. But, um... Whoever answers the question first correctly uh, will be the winner, and then I'll just get in touch with you somehow. Last uh, time we had our wisdom man, I think he was on Twitch or something, he won some tubing. So, you guys could get lucky and win something as well. So, let's see, we are going to go with this tonight. Uh, if you didn't get the announcements, we're working on the Define S again. So, to do that, or what we're doing tonight, is the 420 Rad Grill mod. And uh, I'm going to have to admit here, we, I mean, I didn't really plan on finishing this in one stream anyways. It's a bit of work to do. But uh, I didn't actually get the piece cut out quite correctly. I, I didn't do my measurements. I didn't do enough measuring, apparently. For some reason, I thought that the radiator would go... If you can, if you can tell, I already started on this. But uh, I, I, for some reason, assumed that the radiator went in the center. So when I had Jeremy cut out, oh, this is together. Um, when I had Jeremy cut out this piece, which was gonna be painted anyways, uh, the radiator is mounted in the center. So that actually doesn't really work out. <laughs> so I'm gonna either I was gonna give you guys the option to pick how we're gonna do this. Uh, I can easily redraw this anyways, because uh, if anybody wanted to do this mod themselves, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo this piece. We're not using this piece. And I'm going to have it cover this whole top section. It'll bolt down on the edges just like this was going to. Just that it'll cover the whole area. And then obviously have the radiator offset like it's supposed to. So I can still do that 3D drawing or whatever and get that so you guys could actually have that drawing. And like say order this if you say have a Define S and you would like this. Uh, but I could also just make it by hand. If you guys want to see me do that. I mean I won't be making it all by hand tonight. I have to cut this down and everything. And usually I use a table saw for five mil to cut it up. So I can make it by hand or we can have Jeremy cut me a new one and have that come like probably next week sometime. It's up to you guys. I guess I'll just leave it up to you guys and you can let me know. Or I can just find my own motivation on what I want to do. But um, for tonight we can finish cutting this out. I was going to kind of explain why we're doing this mod because some people I mean I'm sure if any of you do have to find us you're gonna be like dude you can fit a 420 in there anyways so that is true <laughs> the 420 actually fits just fine I even compared it with uh, 360 in the front uh, at the same time and, and they do I think it would fit I didn't test it with fans actually so it might be close uh, however if if you do this mod, what you get out of it is the fact that um, this whole vented section where the rad does mount is indented like a good eighth to it. It's probably closer to a quarter inch. So that being said, like, like I kind of mentioned with the 360 in the front, I didn't know if there's actually room for the fans on the 420 when you put it in there because they, I mean, they're like end to end. Uh, I can show you after we get this finished getting it cut out. But you get a little more height that way so you should be able to fit a fan as well as the fact that I personally 
I mean, this is a great case, don't get me wrong, but I think it's just stupid that they have, like, all this extra ventilation right here, and there's no way to, like, you're, you're not going to mount anything there. So it's just, like, empty space. So what I was going to do is just make a whole panel that covers it, then just have the rad cut out, just like this. I mean, it'll be the same cut out, just obviously in the proper location. So we'll do that, and that overall will just clean up the whole top of the case because it'll be just smooth acrylic. I'll paint it, uh, I believe, just black because the case has a nice matte black already. Hopefully I can match that. And uh, it'll just clean up the whole entire case. You guys are probably wondering, like, well, Matt, now there's no ventilation on it. Well, you see, I already thought about that. And we're, this is actually still a work in progress, too. As you saw, I got these uh, bolts through it with some little nylon spacers that I'll have to paint. But this actually just goes right on top. I need two mil longer screws actually, which aren't sold anywhere around here. So I gotta keep looking for the right length uh, or just cut some down that are too long. So this will sit on top and this is actually how you'll screw the rat in. This will go all the way through this panel and through the panel um, that becomes the new top panel into the radiator and one, this will keep any dust from just like settling too much on the radiator, and it adds a good gap for air, as well as, if you couldn't tell, it has this fancy pattern cut out of it that makes it feel like it's going to break, because it is actually quite a lot cut out. So, you guys could get this, like I said, I'll have this uh, top panel all 3D drawn up for you, and if you wanted the same design, I obviously have this still as well. Uh, however, you could kind of just go nuts with that and do whatever kind of pattern you wanted, which is kind of what this mod is all about. So, let's see. Let's see Matt, m <laughs> Matt do lots more hand. Yeah, sure, do it that way. Oh, work by hand. I had it covered up. So I had to leave to go to class. Oh, it's okay, Shoda. School, please. It's all good, man. Thanks for stopping in for a bit. Appreciate it. So, yeah. I will be doing more work by hand tonight, Rod. Although I probably will spare you guys all the filing that's going to come after this. If you couldn't tell, I just marked off exactly where it's uh, indented around the edge of the case here. And that's where I'm kind of cutting it off. And that's where I'll be like filing it back to. I left a little bit extra in some spots here. So we'll file it all off smooth. And then once I get this top piece done, however, oh. I see what you're saying, Rod. You want me to do the top panel by, by hand. I'm honestly just halfway tempted because like I can get it done in like a day or two, whereas even though it's way easier if Jeremy does it for me on the laser, it's going to take like a week uh, just because it takes him a day or two to get it done, and it's almost the weekend, so it won't come until next week. But we can at least get a ways tonight. So let's put on the safety glasses, even though Hank won't be watching tonight. He said he's going shrimp fishing because it's been a long day. So poor Hank. Oh well, well, we'll get the modding done while he goes and fishes, of course. Uh, so I was gonna actually, I saved the, the, the toughest part for last just because I knew you guys would like that. If you couldn't tell, the front panel wires are actually uh, back here. So I just taped a piece of acrylic uh, to the top panel so I don't cut all the wires off. Because like actually removing the whole front panel just seemed like a pain in the butt to me when I just Take a piece of acrylic there, should be good to go. I guess we'll see if I cut off all the front panel wires. Then I will be aft. File all the things. <laughs> What's up, Askull? Dude, he's in the Discord with us. Anybody else can join the Discord. So I was actually, before I get cutting, I can mention that, yeah, we will be doing the giveaway tonight for the Bits Power Dragon uh, during the stream here in just a bit, but we'll also be doing a giveaway uh, for the two more bits power dragons technically one on in the facebook group tomorrow and one on the discord tomorrow so guys girls join the discord join the facebook group uh i will link you guys all that before the end here and you can join in on that and get another chance to win a bits power dragon if you don't win the one tonight because i'm sure all of you can't win sorry <laughs> there's only one but here we go we're gonna get cutting let me know if you have any questions about what i'm doing but you guys, are, if you're any kind of regular watcher, you see me do this quite a bit. So here we go.
suppose I should actually mute the mic for you guys, because that probably kills your ears. <laughs> yeah, they all muted in Discord. Okay, one second. We'll get this done here. Dang it. So, we left it muted there, but I was just mentioning that uh, the diamond wheel definitely works a lot nicer than uh, these like quick release cutoff wheels. One, you'll just save money overall because this is going to last a lot longer than these guys, and they're like nearly as expensive. Like a three pack of these is like 15 bucks, whereas one of these is 25, and it'll last a lot longer. And especially for thin case panels like that was, it worked really well. Uh, unlike the thicker two mil thick like aluminum that I have on my test bench, it uh, kind of killed my other cheap Dremel, but uh, could have just been the Dremel. I also just think this wheel's pretty big, so it's going to be tougher on smaller Dremels like that. But uh, overall, worked pretty well. So, now you guys are probably wondering, like, what comes next? And that's actually a great question, because, as I said, I can either do this whole top panel myself by hand, which really won't be that bad. Like, I just got to line this up, get this cut down here, and I can actually use this piece. I hope the camera is tilted enough here. Let's make sure. Okay, so we use this piece and I just got to offset it about an inch from center and that's right where the rad sits. You could honestly move the rad around wherever you wanted. Um, I possibly might think about moving it back a tad bit just so you do have that extra clearance in the front with the 360. So uh, by the time I get th that, this panel either cut by Jamie or cut out myself, I will also be throwing in, I have another 360 that I can throw in the front. And we have fans on them all, and I can show you guys kind of the difference that it makes to put in your own top panel. I've done this on my uh, Evolve to a certain degree. It was pretty similar, actually. Uh, I actually bolted that one in through the bottom side, but uh, this one just bolting in through the top, I mean, bolts around the edges, should work pretty well. And it shouldn't really compromise any of the structure. I mean, even how it is right now, the structure is just fine. It hasn't really been changed at all. I just cut out some of the ventilation. Uh, now it's got a lot more ventilation. But, oh, let's try to figure out what was wrong with my sister that whole time. My bad, dude. Unmute, yeah. I got it now, I think. What's up, Randy Snyder? <laughs> um, so, 
I got to unmute in Discord too, but I was actually, I should actually remute because we're about to do the giveaway here for the little Bits Power Dragon that you see up in the top corner. No, I can't really point. It's like way over there. Uh, so for that, I was going to ask you guys who originally, oh wait, 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 wait. I can't do this in Discord because otherwise you guys will have the delay. Actually, the people watching the stream will have the delay. So I'm muting in Discord first a bit, guys. Um, and we're going to do the giveaway here. So now that they can't cheat, uh, let me switch the camera here. And I don't need these at the moment. So now that they can't cheat, we will ask the question. And the question tonight is, what brand originally sold designs to Bits Power? So there's the trivia question. Let's see your answers, people. First one to say it in chat. We'll go home with a little, well, not really go home. You're probably home. And uh, we'll just send it to you. <laughs> but uh, one of the little dragons up here was like that. They come in black and blue, so I guess if you want to let me know which color you prefer, you can. Alpha Cool Nori says, Rod says Cool Ants. You're both wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I know I'm muted there, Asagal, because if I were to be, if I gave, if I announced the giveaway uh, while you guys could hear me, it, you would hear it before they did because there's less of a delay in discord than there is on the stream the stream is like 10 to 30 seconds i think it can range anywhere in there so we don't want to give discord people advantage as much as i love you guys in discord and i wish everybody would just join discord is this a trick question no it's not okay i'll give you guys a hint pbc's actually carries very few of this brand's parts however i did find out today that we will be carrying a lot more of them very soon and they're like a, they're technically not an a new brand, but uh, a lot of people have now started using them a lot more, and they become more available. Is the answer performance PC? No. <laughs> Enzo Tech Darth Trent says in Discord. That's still this is oh there we go exposed on Twitch there we go he said Barrel. So, all you people watching wherever you are, the answer is Barrel and Mr. Exposed on Twitch is the winner. So, how goes it? What's up, Subline Tech? Yeah, so they actually, Barrel used to sell designs to EK and Bits Power, actually. And now, I don't know how recently they've started making parts, but now they do make parts. And uh, we'll be having, <laughs> oh my god, my husband won. <laughs> oh, damn. You should have won. Now what do you, you got to steal his, his Bits Power Dragon plushie. <laughs> Congrats, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but now, as of the past few years or whatever, I don't know how long exactly, but they have been making their own parts. And PBCs is actually going to be carrying a bunch more of them pretty soon. We had, like, some random acrylic tubes by them. And, uh, oh, dude, it is exposed. Yeah, I figured it was you, buddy. Nah, dude, that's good. So, uh... I'll PM you after this stream, and if I don't, then just, like, spam me in the morning or something. <laughs> Says sometimes I forget. But, uh, yeah, dude, you, you're you going to have to fight your wife for that uh, Pitsar Dragon there. I know you won, but good luck with that. <laughs> Way to ruin the surprise? What surprise? I thought it was a good surprise for you guys that uh, we'd be carrying Barrel. Because I actually saw a lot of people in our Discord talking about Barrel recently and they're all saying how much they liked it and how a lot of people actually buy barrow still even though we have quite a few brands but uh barrel will be another one we get so i guess on to the modding i was going to mention that uh when we do when i redo this panel here i figured you guys would want to see me let's see which cameras are we on oh you guys can still see over here kind of i guess good enough uh, I was going to put a fill port. Uh, I actually seen Daniel Cannon put uh, fill ports in the fine S quite a bit when he builds builds in it. And uh, we could put a fill port over here, so I figured that'd be good content for you guys. But that, that's like what will be coming up next, I believe. I wish that I would have had the part made up properly for you guys tonight, and we could have gotten further, I guess. Overall, I think you get what's going on with the whole mod. Randy says Barrel makes nice stuff. Dremel, you can't do any PC modding without a, a Tom <laughs> tradition. Yep. So we got the rest of the Dremeling done tonight. Now it's just going to take some elbow grease and some filing. So I'll be doing that. Uh, let's see. I've got, I've got something to show you guys at least tonight. So Garrett 
from PPCs, obviously, sent me some new RGB fans from Lamptron that we got. Um, I think he sent me the box that they like played soccer with, it almost looks like, but <laughs> we won't go there. They should work. I haven't tested these out yet, but they're RGB fans, and I actually don't mind how the control works for the RGB because like my cable mod strips have one of these little remotes, and honestly, with all the different software programs that I've used over the several years of the RGB craze that it's been around, uh, I really kind of just like the remotes because they, they, they just work. So the remotes are kind of nice. And these do look pretty cool. They got like the, the ring on both sides, so I expect that this both these rings glow. So that should be pretty cool. It also, I would believe, glows in the middle? Not sure. So we'll be testing these out. I can either do a video or a stream on them. Probably it's a video because it probably won't take too long. I'm actually not sure how to get them all hooked up quite yet, so we'll get there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We obviously have more work to do on the test bench and what would be next with that as far as I know is I'll finish up those magnetic ball valves and then we'll get it all tubed up, uh, the CPU loop tubed up again and we can get that done. Um, I think we can get in some sound dampening material in the next week or so and I can do a stream on putting some sound dampening material in a case. So if you guys would like to see more about that, I can uh, get some of that in for you. Otherwise, I believe I do have a couple more ideas, but I'll probably just keep floating around with you guys either on the Facebook or in the Discord, see what you guys want to do, see what kind of content you want to see. Uh, tonight was a little bit shorter, I guess, but uh, we'll be finishing this mod up within the next week here. So I believe on Monday, I suppose I can just do this whole thing by hand. I kind of decided now I'll make this panel by hand, and Monday we can hopefully finish up the Define S top rad grill mod and we can show you how it all goes together and it should be a good time. Um, other than that though, boys and girls, the people in Discord are not very talkative tonight. It's just odd. Oh, now I can unmute myself in Discord. Thanks for participating everybody who was uh, in the Discord tonight and thanks for everyone who stopped in for the stream for the bit of modding that we did. Um, like I said, next Monday, we'll be getting it all finished up. Thank you. No, I appreciate it. So, guys and girls, as you guys saw with the giveaway tonight, we give away the Bitsfire Dragon. We'll be giving away another one on the Discord tomorrow, just during the day sometime. So you'll just want to be in the Discord. That's right. Let me link you guys before I get out of here. We're going we're gonna to get the link. Here's the Discord on Facebook and the other chats. There's that. And then... Here is the Facebook group, which I shouldn't have to link in the Facebook group. Uh, so, two more chances to win some Bits Power Dragons, because I know you guys love those things for some reason. I don't even have one, otherwise I'd show you one, but uh, that's just what they look like. <laughs> and join the group, join the Discord, and you'll have another chance. Also, if you guys can just get the last 30 members for each, uh, we'll be giving away that 8700K and a Supremacy Evo. Uh, as soon as we hit a thousand members on the discord and 5,000 on Facebook, like I said, there's like 30 members on each platform and we'll be there. So we could honestly get that done like tomorrow. If you guys really put your minds to it, please move closer to Miami. The 2.5 hour drive is killing me. Well, I hate to say this, Mr. Norris or Miss Norris. Um, but, uh, I actually live in Minnesota. So me just moving down to like Palm Bay is going to be. A nice change I believe I can get you guys a lot more content maybe even more frequently hopefully and keeping it interesting so <laughs> mister okay <laughs> sorry but other than that everybody like I said join the discord join the Facebook group and get in on these giveaways and I will be come to ultra it's tomorrow what's dude I'm still in <laughs> Word up for Minnesota. Yeah, dude. I Yeah, I think you're in the Discord. I think I saw you say that you were in uh, Minnesota as well. But hopefully I'll get down to Florida soon. Like I said, and actually, I guess I could tell you guys, I'll be going down to PPCs uh, at the end of April. So if you guys want to see some streaming content from there, I plan on doing that as well as just some other videos and whatnot. But uh, we will, I will be going down there and if you guys want to see something specific let me know before I go and hopefully I can stream it for you otherwise I'll do as best I can to get you guys some more insider info on PPCs when I'm down there 
in the Twin Cities, Mr. K. Shafe. Nice, nice. I'm a bit north of you, up in Bemidji. <laughs> Put Jose from customer service on the stream. He's good people. Yeah, dude, Jose's awesome. Uh, he's down in Florida. But when I'm down there, we'll see if we can get some appearances from some of the great people that you guys probably talk with. Uh, obviously, I talk with them sometimes, too. But they all seem to be very helpful. So let me know if you guys need anything. Uh, just like them, I try to be as helpful as I can, and I'll get you to the right people if uh, I don't have an answer myself. But other than that, boys and girls, I'm going to head off for tonight. Check me out on Monday, same place, uh, 7 p.m. Dude, my old stomping ground walker. Yeah, dude, uh, it's pretty fun up in the north sometimes, I guess. <laughs> Occasionally. So with that, I will head off and see you guys soon. Konnichiwa. <laughs> see ya, man.